and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Craig, we're here, and let's get down to business. We're like, what do we think of that intro? Is that okay? Or do I need to work on that some more? Let's get down to business? I, 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 I don't know at this point, but what I do know, what I do know, what you've been waiting to hear, you've been waiting patiently all these last two months, Two months we were waiting to hear this. This is the last time I will be coming to you live from this island. That's right. We've got a date. Thursday, November 30th, 9 a.m. PST. That is noon for me here in EST up in frozen North Canada land. By the way, here's a picture. It's already snow here. Um, but that's it. This is like this is a short video. Well, maybe not so short, but look at what... I got words. No, no words. We've got it. We, well, we don't have it in our hands yet. We've got the date. Two days, two short days from now. We will be bipping in to the island in Unreal 5, Ark Survival Ascended for the first time. I almost feel like starting like a little, um, little poll. Wondering exactly how long we will be in Ark Survival Ascended before it crashes the first time. But let's, let's not um, think. You know what? I'm going to give it to you straight, as I always do. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. I mean, it looks pretty good. From what I've seen, it looks pretty good on the Xbox X, which the PS5 graphics are comparable to. I believe they did some testing. The PS5 actually edged them out in performance a little bit. Even though the on-paper specs seem to suggest otherwise, it was weird. I don't know. All I know is... Two days. Two short days. Can somebody knock me on the head and just wake me up again Thursday at noon? Because I just want to go there now. Fast forward time. Like, you know, sleep and accelerate time. Let's get there. Because these are going to be the longest two days in the history of days. But they did it. They said early December. I've been checking every day on the PlayStation Store. Checking every day. Because for the Steam version, it was a stealth drop. For the Xbox version, it was a stealth drop. It was just like, oh yeah, it's available, come and get it. PlayStation were actually getting notice. But now, you got to take this with a teeny tiny grain of salt because it's wildcard. And wildcard are almost 100% never make the dates. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we will not be disappointed on the 30th of November. But what this seems to suggest is that it's past certification. So I don't see there being any problems. There can't be any problems. Now that means it's going to be a long day for me. We're going to be on Twitch all day long. You won't see any YouTube videos right away because we'll be doing it live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash RevGuyArc. That's me, old Rev. we there live. All day long. Well, after we download it, that could take some time. Maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes? Half an hour. Depending on how hard their servers are hit, it could be a little longer than that to download it and install it and get it running. And then we can look at the mods. We can look at all the things. And I can look at the list of things you've said. And also, two things. One, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button because there's going to be PlayStation 5 content coming your way. And who else is doing that? Oh, probably other people that I don't know about. But hey, come here. Because I won't, I won't, obviously, I won't paint the rosy picture of Wildcard as the greatest company ever. And the game is immaculate and perfect. We're going to spend the first while going through it all and looking at all the things that you have put in the, in the comments saying, hey, check this out. Does it still do this? Is this still a problem? Like some of it from things I've seen, I mean, because I've been checking out the competition to see what the other platforms look like now that it was getting closer to a date, and now we know a date even better. Um, some of the things you people were saying about and building and things, they seem to have pretty much fixed. But there's a lot of things to check out. Um, I hear, don't know what it's going to be on PlayStation, but I assume it's the same as every. I hear that in the character creator, you can't change the look of the face at all. There's a one face and everybody gets it. 
which considering the metahuman builder that's in Unreal 5, that seems like a weird choice. Maybe they'll change it later on down the line as they optimize and get things. Like, I mean, you're mostly playing in first person. You don't see your face anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But cross-play will be a thing. Hey, Monarchy, PlayStation over here. Want to play stage player in the monarchy? Your first Canadian? I don't know if you're your first Canadian or not. Anyway, Ross, talk to me, brother. So, yeah. So this is how it looks now. And here's one of the things that we'll be doing. I'm going to show you right now. I'll pop this up. Go, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get that up. Um, I believe the command is S T A. T space F P S. Go. Does it work? Yes. You see up in the corner there? Now I'd like to point out something that you maybe have never noticed. Let's get somewhere dark so you can really see that. There you go. That's better contrast. Look at our frame rate. 50, 30. 30, 30, 30. Is that... Yeah, that's 50. Look at that. PlayStation 5 on the old one can get up to get up to 50, 60 frames per second on the old arc. So we'll be doing that when I do the side by side comparison. I'll have the frames per second running so we can see the actual difference between the two, like actual quantifiable difference between the two. I know they're completely different games, but they're the same map and it's supposed to be the same game. It's supposed to be the same experience, roughly, except better. So, oh, in case you were wondering, hey, how did you get that? I mean, you just told us, but how did you get that? So, on PlayStation, we're pushing the options button to get this menu up. And if you don't have that admin bar up top, how to get it, it changes in the new one. But for the old one, just in case you still didn't know after all this time, hold down L1 and R1, and then square and triangle, push them both at once, push all of those, and that will pop that window up. And then you can type things in. And as I said, STAT, STAT, space, FPS, which stands for frames per second. You type that in, and it puts the frames per second up on your screen. That's something we're going to need to know. So, they did it. I've been cautiously, like I said, I've been checking the PlayStation Store every day just in case they stealth dropped it. Because they say early December is what they're hoping for. But they originally said before the end of November... And I think that was probably right on the money. Obviously, since we're seeing it's hitting November 30th, I think what they did, I know this is hindsight is 2020 sort of thing. I think what they did when changing it to early December is like, okay, we might not make the end of November certification. Let's change the date now to early December. So if everything stays on track and we get it before the end of November, they'll be happier because they're getting earlier than they thought. Which is in the kind of, kind of little just sneaky, sneaky thing. But it's good. There, there is joy in my heart because I'm going to get to join the rest of you that are out there on Xbox and PC, Windows cheaters. Oh my God. And Steam. Not everybody playing on Windows is a cheater. I'm not saying that. But oh my God, the cheating through Windows 10 is horrific. We're sitting here on the island for the last time. Watching that trilobite across the way and a carbonemus walking around. Where are all those dinosaurs that were here giving me that wrong advice? I asked them all and every one of them said they wouldn't make the December 2nd deadline. Actually, maybe they knew something because they were right. They didn't make the December 2nd deadline. They pushed it up. So technically, all those dinosaurs that told me that they weren't making the deadline... They were right. Maybe that's why that when I asked the Parasaur, he just turned away and chuckled because he knew the Parasaur knew then that we were going to get it before December. But anyway, facetiousness aside, jokes aside, two days and PlayStation gets to join with everybody else. And I'm sure there will be lots of things to complain about. Because it's ARC, and there's always lots of things to complain about, especially in the PlayStation version. Um, everyone who has commented already, thank you very much. I do. I, you can see, uh, read and respond to all your comments. Thank you for watching. Do the like, follow, subscribe, all the things you know how to do anyway. And we will see you 
in two days for Ark Survival Ascended. Yeah!